Hey there everyone, this is Outcalbling VLDCX and I don't know how to pronounce your name. LSH0426 has something called the Bonus Switch Palace. It's gonna be a bonus, there are daggerdons. Whoa, we're in this valley and the green switch. Well, I mean, yeah, you know what? We all need a switch palace in our life. Bonus switch palace, welcome to the switch palace. Five test. I don't want. Oh, I guess I don't have a choice. So be it! Let us venture. F oh, okay. I mean, we kind of immediately lost the whole Switch Palace aesthetic here. It has turned into a level. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I'm just, I'm putting that out there, you know? I mean, like, hey, there's an embed question block down there. That's pretty silly. And I feel like I've been alert here with the thought of playing something Switch Palace related. And, but we're clearly in a field where Charlie roams free and the plants believe. You can slide kill a turtle if you please. I'm gonna do that though. Yeah, so maybe there's like supposed to be a Dagadon per, per area and I missed it. It's possible. Well, that was the green zone. Welcome to yellow. It's a cave. Nothing says yellow like Tostado. Welcome to the king. Get yourself a flower, put it in some butter, and steer fry it to your liking. I don't think you should do that. The flower, oh, look at that. Now it turns from like all, all castle town after the cave town. Look at that. Yeah, that arrow's like, check that out. I'm, I am. Don't you worry, buddy. I am checking out that direction. At no point have I considered going left. That's not true. I tried going to lips. Oh, whoops. Yeah, my timing there was bad. That's that's on me. I should know the timing of piranha plants. If there's one skill I can put in my curriculum video, it's that intimate knowledge of the timing of piranha plant would be somewhere in there. Look at that! It's a dino rhino, final lot of bino. So you see, by having this whole like, do these trials, Mario, or else I'm gonna eat your face. Uh, gives you an excuse to have a whole bunch of biomes and you no know, enemy types and whatnot. Which, I mean, I understand why you would want to do it, because you want to like explore a whole bunch of things. Oh, there's ice, by the way. <laughs> But, um, I feel like if you're going for a contest, I believe that it's more important to have a cohesive vision. I did it! Oh, the power to switch, yeah, press will turn coin- <laughs> Has my progress really been saved, though? Has it? I feel you should have leaned into the joke a bit more. And just said no. Be real, be honest, be correct. All right, we're going from blue to blue. Uh, nothing says blue like the color. Blue, are you giving me a shell to be able to swim fast? That's, that's someone who doesn't really care much for water levels, but it's like, well, I should do a water part in my multi-part level. Why nations have been asking that themselves for seconds? And no answers has yet to be found. Oh, whoops! I was hyper focused on that fish. Like I just barely noticed the sleeping fish, the the urchin rather. See, so much so that I don't even remember it. And there's things up there. Yeah, that's why there's that stone sticking out. That's where the coin was at. Video games, they exist. So. For reasons unknown, I'm just saying this out of nowhere because I want to share. Uh, for reasons unknown, I was watching the OP of that old cartoon and uh, Mysterious Cities of Gold, and it says R. And uh, nostalgia made it, so I started to cry. That's my story, it's pretty bad. Alright, so what's the thing here? You do that, I want to bring you somewhere, but not there because you'll get a little stuck. So here but then I need like a P switch for you to be able to go there is there okay there is a P switch here wow this is not nothing all right let's try this again all right start to dance my friend yeah I'm gonna put you here safely 
And we're gonna do this. Wait, how do you get stuck? Then that guy there died, making that part possibly impossible. Oh, we need to hang out here. And then you fall here. But then I need another one. Huh, how does this work? Is there another P-switch in here? Oh, okay. Alright, in that case, I want two of them. If I understand this correctly, but then I might run out. But that he just killed himself, making this impossible. But, you know, we're just, we're just gonna... We're just gonna see how this goes. So yeah, you do this, you go here, then I press this, then you hang out on these blocks for a little bit. I wish you'd like, stop swaying so much, like, please be a little bit more rational, my friend. And then it messes up anyways. But yeah, like, this would pro- this is probably a vine that would free that guy, but that means as soon as he dies, it becomes impossible. And, uh, the guy seems to be pretty prone to dying. Oh, he's probably killed by the disco. Okay, there it didn't happen, so... Alright, we might have a chance. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of lives. I'm gonna give myself a safe state. Like, the reality is I do not trust the level. What with the guys just, like, destroying themselves constantly? Okay, so with these two, I'll be fine, though. Alright. Because, yeah, look at that, I'm almost out of time. Like, and I feel that's not my fault. You are free to disagree, if you do believe it is my fault. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, shoot, I pressed both at once, making this impossible. Because, yeah, you need to let, like, unless there's a... No, I don't think there's a way. To just... Make a... Yeah, so you do that, then you do that, but then, you know, it needs something to go on here. I know. Yeah, you become a vine. Uh, then I freed you somehow. I don't know if I want that. Oh, I can hit this here. I don't know if that's what I want, though, is the problem. Because then that lets you go here. Guess I'm gonna press you without really no no uh okay so I guess I want you here there's a wall there that but I I <laughs> what <laughs> and I missed up there you switch I don't think I'll be able to do it. You go here, or you go across. Uh, I don't. can let you destroy that. Okay, so, um, pro tip, if you're gonna make a weird puzzle as part of what you need to beat your level, and you're gonna even offer reset doors and stuff, please take the time limit into consideration, <laughs> alright? Uh, yeah, like, if I had not put down a safe save there, I would have died, and I have to redo it a few times. I mean, maybe your goal is that you have to remake it a few times? I guess I can't blame you for that, but then it's not really fun, you know? Like, puzzle difficulty and consequences, and action difficulty and consequences, are not the same, and are not perceived the same. Toad64, bringing us on the road to Abstract Road. I said road twice, and I think we got a preview what this is gonna look like. Whoa, there's a moon, and there's a secret exit. 
None of which will exist. Wow. Well, there's a top secret area. Is there anything on the top secret area? What is this land map? There is something in the top secret. Hey, look at that. You can get large and you can get big and you can get yourself an ice cream sundae. Point of criticism immediately. There's no visual distinction it looks like from normal big and fire big. Maybe it doesn't matter. Oh man, the lands are crazy. And I, well, I don't know, let, like maybe in the level in that see, like there's no distinction. And look at that, it's the first screen I think. It's all spooky. Swamp is angry, all spaghetti. That guy's got a hammer though, he's pretty crazy. All right, this, okay, so the different coloration seems to be strictly ornamental. That's fine. Whoa, the rogue stop, it's now a cave. This is just so abstract, we're gonna deconstruct the, what the idea of a road is even about. A smiling gummy man. Big plants, I'm assuming they hurt. I have no basis for that. Look at that guy. That man could be climbing on vine, but why bother when you got wing? Hey Charlie, how's it going? I'm, I imagine, they have to be munchers, right? Like, is that an incredible thing to think? Whoops, oh, it's, this is not the kind of block I thought it was. Get out of here. I want my rest. So, okay, so here I can. Well, I just pressed a switch and Charlie happened. So, that was scary. I don't, I don't really have an explanation there. Sometimes things just thing. It's like, whoa, I'm swimming now. Oh, hey, there's a theme going on when we're playing today. Look, man, I got all these ideas. I'm gonna put them all together. I mean, to be fair, like, I'm a big fan of this visual style, but, like, that's the only thing that's really going on this level. Like, in terms of gameplay, it is, hey, check it out. It's a level. Whoa. I'm kinda have a lot of ideas. I'm gonna just hammer them up all together. Good times. I mean, it is good times, but, like, it's all about the visual style here. The visual style, like, it's a, it's a, it's a palette, you know? That's a that's a saw down there. I, I still I feel like I'm mean, having a lot of easy time because of the cape I got in tops it secret area. That's how you pronounce it, really, like according to my guidebook. But whoa, geez. But you know, like he gave me the top secret area. I'm gonna use it. I mean, I didn't know. I don't know. This was the castle part. Now we're at the outside part again. The outside part is already done part. Look at that though, blue and red. All on red, here we go. Gonna get so much salt, I'm gonna blow it up my nose. I feel like things are being encountered. There we go. This was a comfy level inside of these giant bean bags floating in space where all the best bean bags are collected. My themes at arcades by Pat94 Plus. Are we also gonna have, like, kind of different, weird little ideas, like microcosm put together in a sort of, like, you know, like, together within the context of a further level? Because that's what we've been doing today! Five themes at Arcade! Shout it! Check it out. I got my money, and there we go. Wow! This is some music happening here. <laughs> yeah, I got the sequel up on the bone basement. Did it. I found, so we got to enter the arcade. Welcome to Skull Raft Bone Arcade Station. Oh, over there. No? All right, here we go. Look at that. The world is empty. Overground. Cave. Ghost house. Silver. Underwater. Castle. Can't press that switch. Looks like everything means anything. I don't know what I just said. Can I go in this pipe instead? All right, I don't know, man. Let's just go in overground. Check it out, we're somewhere. Everyone is running away from me. That's probably smart. Check it out, there's a piece switch down there. Salabim, Pat94 Plus, look at that. Just hiding their little credit there, back in the Atari days, where you got a child about head hunting. Look at that, that's a Charlie. Please destroy the world for me. Thank you very much. Now please run in this hole. 
that's just how it goes. I got myself a P-switch here, and I don't even know why. Yeah, I got enough money for a one-up. I need that money for a one-up. Oh, the music's gone. Like, I don't know, there's something really catchy about this song. I've been- Whoa, okay. On purpose. That's <laughs> a data. Midpoint. And I can go back to overground if I want to. Yeah, it is called overground. What a name. Cave, here we go. There's a cape and a horse and a double bag. Just bop it up everywhere. Be clumsy. It's okay. Yeah, that's like supreme clumsy. The way I managed. Oh, well, okay. So find a P switch and get a prize. I'm gonna maybe return here. So I'm gonna destroy your neck and skull. Fractures build the economy. No, they don't. Well, what a gross thing to say. Check it out, that's a plan. Check it out, that's a net. Check it out, it's a potable wanting some rest. Maybe. Is this where the P switch is? Nope, it's where another one up is. There's a lot of one ups here. If you notice that, Charlie, there's a lot of one ups here. I bet the P switch is in here. Like, oh, you guys can get all the way back up here. No, it's a Yoshi! I don't know where the P switch is. Hooray! Thanks for being hooray! That's me, that's hooray! I don't think that- okay, so... I think it's just a respawning midpoint, that's fine. So there's a secret exit there, probably. Maybe? No, I think there's just two exits. Huh. Well, I mean, let's do both. Whoa, it's shaking! <laughs> this is the ghost hard place, but I got a Yoshi, what am I gonna do about it? My name is Tiny Mario. I don't know what I want to do here, actually. It's kind of scary, yo. Yoshi can't interact with these guys. Well, I guess he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. Maybe you go in that door at the start, I don't know. I'm just gonna hang out at a pool and drown. Oh boy. Alright. That's just how it goes, man. Something up there, obviously. Like, look at that. Like, it's so obvious. It's obvious. <laughs> it's so obvious I can't think of a simile. Alright, or a metaphor, a resume. Whoa there, laser guy. Calm down the chipper, alright? There we go. Uh, maybe I need to be a bit smaller. Not smaller, but closer. I'm in the attic. <laughs> I'm now somewhere. Oh, laser. Oh, look, there's something here. That's how you get to the silver P. Alright. And you use a silver P to do something. I don't know what though. Just kind of exploring my options. Like, where do you use the silver P? Well, you can destroy all these ghosts, I guess, but like that's not really what I want to do here. And it doesn't destroy those. Eh. You know what? I'm good. I'm good with the haunted house. I get it. There's the puzzle. You can get one egg- Whoa! Look at my tiny room! I feel like you need to die in every level, because sometimes they have little tiny rooms. So yeah, that's a ghost house silver game. Let's play the underwater game instead. Now, that's my jam. I'm swimming some more. Check it out. There's glitchy graphic in the background. Check it out. There's an urchin. They are completely unrelated. No, see, it's because it's a video game. So, can you get down there and get that if you're into that? Are you into that? I mean, I'm not gonna judge you if you're into that. I mean, it's fine. It's just not. It's not what I thought, you know, about you. I mean, it's it's totally okay though. Like, it's great. You know, everyone has different hobbies. You know, it takes it take it takes a world to make a world, as as they say. Wow, that was underwater game. It's the best game of the world. All right, let's see if the castle exit is a bit more to my ta- I don't know why I hit that button. Oh, you're supposed to bring the P-switch out in one of the yellow pipes. 
And you can press that button, that probably does something. Ah, you know what? Uh, even, like, my curiosity is peak. even if I beat the, the level, I'm going to experiment with that and see what happens, because I'm curious. I'm not gonna get your money, I'm gonna- Whoa. Well, I got all the Dagadons! <laughs> oh, you gotta be careful about putting them- Whoa, wait. There's the moon. Does this not have an end? There was a key mention. Alright, well, in that case, let's see if by getting the silver P here, if then you can hit the switch, then something might happen. That's what I'm curious about. Like there's like there's like a meta puzzle going on here, possibly. Which would make sense. Like you've got all these disparate like elements. Yeah, like, maybe you're supposed to grab the springboard that's hidden underwater and use it somewhere in another realm. Like, that's a pretty clear usage of this kind of thing. But let's see what happens, because, yeah, here you got clearly a yellow pipe. Yellow pipes, universally, in this collection of events, have always meant... Hey, we're returning to the real world here. Did you pack your luggage? Probably not. What a fool. You know, this is very berating. Like, honestly, oh, jeez. Uh, I'm being invaded by lasers. I will not anymore. So I think this switch will affect a layer, and I don't know what's gonna happen after that. Maybe just go beyond? Like, press that, yeah, and it goes up. Remember when it was an earthquake? It's because layer two was just like jamming and slamming against the bottom. Is this just where- you Oh, well, there you go, yeah! It was a meta puzzle! You gotta bring things to different games, and that's how you beat it. There you go! Except, I didn't bring stuff to other games, I just did it that way instead. It's called being efficient! Ah, uh, this level is neat. Yeah! A weird theme across the three levels played today. It's always kind of funny when that happens. Hey, these weird themes got, like, the same places, basically. I don't know what that means.